Hello, class here. Tabari in the Night of the Curious Moon. In the last part, we started World 5, but also, um, we were still getting things in World 3. Which I've just now failed to select. Okay, we just got one level left. Also, I kind of want to turn the game sound down, because I seem to remember it's a little loud. Already so low though. Oh, and now I have to make the walk all the way back again. Amazing. Actually, it's faster if I go to World 4 and then one level back, isn't it? Because it's at the end of World 3. Strategy. Oh, yeah, this level. The level where I run right into the first enemy. And the third enemy. Got it. Nothing up to the right there. Oops. Never mind. <laughs> okay, we're just dead. Let's see, then we need to keep going, don't we? Yeah, or else we, uh. Well, or that could happen. Fast. Oh, if I recast this. Um. This isn't working out. I'm just gonna. Not be sure why I'm trying to heal. I should have just grabbed the one up and died intentionally. Really? I got hit right after the heart. Okay. So the important thing to remember is recast slow at an actually opportune moment. Not when you're next to a fire-spitting enemy. Alright, and you lose the slow if you get hit. Is that like an up arrow? No, it's some sort of like, flower thing. What does this shop offer? I'll take a midpoint. Oh, I didn't really need to slow anything, did I? Maybe I did, if I'm still in a hurry here. But what do you have to say? I'm busy here, but hello there. I believe there's something quite good down below. It's sure to be handy in the next area. So what if I don't dash hurry quick? Room. See, so you give speed, don't you? Nice. I'm wondering if speed doesn't affect your fall speed, but only your, like, horizontal speed? Maybe that's how you get to the broom. Because that doesn't look like it's gonna work. Then again... Yeah, just tanking the hit. Oh yeah, you fall much faster. <sighs> so my other theory... ...is, um... Whoa. Oh, that was... that was a bad idea. Is that you need to get on the bridge... ...and then, um... ...hold left to get, like, leftward momentum while you're, um, like, before it disappears, and then it disappears with the right timing. Except, without slow down, I don't think I'm getting there in time. Maybe I shouldn't have bought a midpoint. Ah, well, I'm definitely not getting there in time if I play badly. What if there's something to the right, though? I'm just like losing all my lives all at once. What if 
I cast speed up in the air. I don't think it'll help me. Well, now I need it to wear off. Uh, maybe it helped a little. I still find that placement pretty mean. Like, it would be the same puzzle, pretty much, if they just put it a little farther to the right. Yeah, I'm gonna exit the level. I think I need slow for something. There's not any other power, is there? I mean, wind would be immensely useful. Oh, I already took the heart? Why? Why is this level so deadly? It's only like the final level of World 3. Come on. Well, there's, like, nap time power. That's not gonna help me. Or the tea ceremony. Whatever it is. Yeah, I don't see anything useful up there. Uh, let's not get midpointed. Wait, sword! That could actually be key! Cause remember what I was trying last episode with the sword? It, like, didn't register as movement power, but it totally is. Why didn't I buy the midpoint? Alright, so now we've got sword and a salt broom. And a checkpoint. Let's see, is there gonna be, like, another green rabbit to hint at things? Look at stuff. Not get like shot at by fireballs. See, that is not conducive to looking around. Alright. Interested yet in jelly yams or anything? Maybe I should be. It's hmm. okay, so I can't quite get up there. If I had bounced on an enemy, I could get on the moon block. Actually, I could still assault room up to it. Whoa, Kabari, your hitbox is interesting. It might only be like the bottom half of her sprite. Oh, there's stuff up there stuff over there. Yeah. I, I'm onto your game's spike thing. Oh! Not onto that thing's games. Oh, and the midpoint makes me have to exit the level all the way. Easy. Now we're like starting to profit on one ups each time. And then that like unavoidable checkpoint, because why not? One of these times I'm just gonna like assault broom here instead of sorting. And well, maybe the broom wouldn't actually hit the um. the switch. Or maybe it would. I don't know. If it doesn't hit the switch, you just go careening off to your death. Okay, let's not jump straight into a red spike that was kind of meanly placed. I guess I'm looking for what the green switch does before I hit it. Yellow green switch. Alright, so we could potentially get trapped there if 
if we're not fast. So maybe I should have traded out sword for like a speed power. I guess I still could. Do I want speed or slow? I kinda wanna go fast. I traded out the wrong power. Taking our time, forgetting to buy sword, and so we're dead. Actually, wait, maybe this platform could be used to jump back over? Well, if I'd hit the jump button. Let's actually buy a sword. Okay, with Assault Broom selected, we pick up the speed power. Oh, and then I actually have to broom this, but we we can broom it safely. Wait. Okay. Sure. That worked. And then, do I just fall here? Yeah! Then we buy a midpoint, because it's like, almost boss time. Except, wait... Well, we tossed this in favor of a better power. Oh yeah, it's this boss. The, like, mid-boss series. That I died on a bunch. Should've got jelly yams. Oh, poor decision making. The timing of the things there is kind of awkward. Oops, didn't get firepower. Ah! Since it was moving down, I landed on it, and then it was not on it, because those are awkward when they're moving down, and you can't jump. Oops raining down in that one particular spot. That's a lot of failing to dodge that move in that one particular spot. Except it's like not a particular spot. Maybe ball would be... Oh no. Alright, now we get all the 1-ups, and then we die. Perfect. Oh yeah, this, this is a good run of the early part. And then I die! Gotta have momentum before you jump. Okay, that went even better. I think. I might have got fewer points, but you know. We made it here, that's something. Hey, we didn't take damage. Okay. 
take this like kind of slowly. And hey, we didn't die. Oh. Oh, I thought they were gonna jump before they reached me, so I didn't try to jump. Whatever. Fine. Let's see, I think I remember what happens here. No, I don't. That's a different level or something. Thought I was gonna have to, like, wait on one of the platforms, and then it was gonna... Oh boy. Kinda late. It's fine, we get another one-up. I kinda wish I had shoot rock. So it would, would ball deal a lot of damage. Oh, that deals so much damage. Got him! <laughs> Alright. So now we've got all the world three moons. And I've spent 21 minutes. <laughs> so uh, let's, let's be a level or two. The dark stairs. Wow, it is dark. I wonder if there's stairs. Can't I brighten things up with my magic? Well, there are like six spells we've never seen. Fire is apparently not bright. That's ice. Can I get lamp power? If I hit one of these lamp enemies? I can if I get up there before the coin disappears. Oh man, I can see! Oh, this is just a shop! I thought it was a, like, door to somewhere else. So you can also buy light. Spark, sniper... Oh, that's fire. I thought it was five power. You know, the power of the number five. Light, be afraid of no ghost or nor dark path. I am not afraid of any ghosts, nor the master hand. There's the moon, huh? Looks like you would need a silt room to grab it and survive. We're airbound. Some sort of air movement power that would um do something a little faster than wind would get it done. Or as I often call it, air. Alright, so hitting the attack button with light does nothing, in case you're wondering. Alright. Oh, ghosts just get powed. Technical term. You, you saw it went, it went pow, and so they were powed. Alright, you give slow, not airbound. The airbound enemy does make like a, a circle thing, but it's a different circle thing. Whoa, there was a salt room! So if I toss. Fire is probably the less valuable one. Oh! There's! So if we just do this platforming again... Okay, so you're going that way. And I'm falling again. Perfect. Huh. The assault room enemy wasn't back again. Uh, I need to respawn the platforms though. So let's go down a little more. Maybe that was too much, but whatever. Ow. That thing again. And we're dead. 
Not like much was really lost. I'm right here. Oh. It's a ball enemy now. You fall? Nice. The ball will not protect me from spikes. I don't even want it. Maku Assault. Kind of. Alright, I've got my weapon out. Eh, eh, didn't get it. Didn't get it. <sighs> Maybe I should actually switch to light. But then, like, if I want to get the power, I need to switch and then attack. Which, I mean, switching isn't instantaneous, but it's still an extra button press. Ah! Ah! Not working out. But, like, it looks so easy to get the Moon Shard as part of doing the level. Or at least not significantly more difficult than just doing the level. So I want to get it now. If that makes any sense. Like, it's just one extra thing to do that I already see how to do. you dead, so you never respawn. As I'm moving around, that is. Obviously, if I die again, they'll respawn again. Okay, got it. Now I just have to... Uh, do that. Uh, unfortunately, I'm already midpointed, so I can't, like, midpoint again. See, I don't really need a salt room anymore. And I would rather not go flying off to the side as I'm hitting the blue switch. Let's get some light here. Let's not be afraid of any ghosts. This bustin' makes me feel good. Yeah, and since that moving platform, or not moving platform, conveyor goes the other way, the proper thing to do is be holding to the right already when you're landing. Okay, now that spike will just disappear, which might be what I need to wait for. Okay, there's a lot of light here. Can deal with a little less light. Oh. If the switch was still on, I could try to go to the right. Oop. Yeah, that's what we need to do. Oh yeah, there's plenty of time now that the enemies have been dealt with. Alright. Can't be pushed while I'm holding a thing. At least I think that's what happened. Maybe it just missed me. Whoa! Don't die to that. I don't advise it. In case you were wondering. Oh, nice, I got health. Got all the health. Just by attacking stuff that I was standing on. Oh, that's airbound, isn't it? I kind of like seeing. I also kind of like being able to attack horizontally, which airbound does not do, nor does light. Alright. Sure. Oh, and the goal's up there. Easy level. I only died like six times or something. 
actually wasn't even that many. I just fell a lot trying to get the moon shard. Or rather, trying to get the air assault room to get the mirror shard. M moon shard, whatever it's called. The crystal shard, this is Kirby 64. <laughs> anyway, um, it's been over half an hour, just slightly. So, even though I'm gonna edit down a little, that'll be it. See ya!